Como ya la vi Solita pues me pregunté ¿Qué pasa cuando me bailó? Cerquita Oh, really? Okay He wants a big pop, you see? He likes it when I call him big papa For today's video I took out um, let's say I think this nine pork chops but um, this is for seven people if you're going to be cooking for less people less pork chops like I said this is for seven people and I took out um, eight to nine pork chops and the way that I sliced them up was just like this <clears throat> this um, these pork chops are going to be made like um, stew chicken pollo guisado and it's just going to be stew pork chops so after they cook for a while they'll start to fall apart if not if some of them stay kind of intact it's fine now if you want to slice yours completely if you want to take it off the bone you can I'd rather leave it on the bone um, because I feel like the bone just gives it you know that flavor so now we're just going to season these up you can use the seasoning of your choice I'm going to show you what I'll be using as I add it. I'm going to add some olive oil. You can use any olive oil. And I already, um, when I slice my pork chops, they've already been um, clean with lemon because I don't have vinegar. I'm going to sprinkle some garlic, maybe about, I don't know, two teaspoons. I don't measure, I just wing it. I'm gonna sprinkle some adobo. And remember, I'm seasoning eight to nine pork chops, guys. Un poquito, a little bit of oregano. Oregano. Not too much. I sprinkle like probably a teaspoon. I'm going to be using two envelopes of sofrito, but I'm going to put one now and then when I mix it, I'll add the other. And I'm just gonna add, um, add a little more to this side. You want your pork chops well seasoned because this is what's gonna give your sauce um, that flavor. And so don't be shy with your seasoning because then your sauce will be a little bland. <clears throat> I'm sorry guys. Although, once it starts to boil, you can always give it a taste and adjust your seasonings at that time. And the second sasson. I'm 
I'm going to be sprinkling a little bit of the pink salt, okay? And if my sauce needs more, then I'll add it at that time. Okay, so our pork chops are seasoned. <clears throat> so let me show you the ingredients that we're going to be adding to this delicious pot of stew pork chops. Um, chuleta guisa. Okay. One green pepper. A half a head of garlic. One small onion or a half a large onion. It's up to you. And my go-to. Cilantro. A cup of cilantro and a lata, one can of salsa tomate of tomato sauce. If you're making less pork chops, you don't need this whole can. You can actually use about a half a can, okay? But remember, we're making like a stew, so um, the tomato sauce is the base of your stew, along with your veggies. Let's go to the stove. Okay guys, so I have allowed my pot to get warm, not hot, warm. Now I'm just gonna start throwing my pork chops in there. I hope this pot is big enough. This is my mom's ocadero. You guys know the story already, honey. I'm just gonna add the pork chops to this and my vegetables, which is the cilantro, the onion, the garlic, and the green pepper. If you guys want, don't have the, if you don't have the, um, I'm not sure what said. Like if you don't have cilantro and onion or you don't want to be bothered with that, just add, when you make the chuleta marinade, just add um, a rice spoon or a soup spoon of um, store-bought or homemade um, sofrito. You can add one. You can have one to um, two spoons, it's never enough. Remember, it's just vegetables. Now give it a mix. Oh, this smells good already, honey, it's not easy. Como ya la vi, solita, pues me pregunté ¿Qué pasa cuando me bailó? Cerquita, eso fue descomunal Dale, dale, tra, tra, tú sabes cómo es Cómo hacerlo, mami, contra la pared No me dice nada y todo se le ve El perreo no se acaba Okay, let's add our whole green pepper That's one whole green pepper If you're not a fan of green pepper, you can do a half Do one small onion Or you can use a half of, um A half a large onion And remember, all this is gonna cook in that stew so it'll all break down. This is a one, um, a half a head of garlic. If you want a whole head of garlic, if you like garlic like me, you can go ahead and do so. I honestly got lazy after the half a head. I hate peeling and chopping garlic. And one cup of cilantro. If you're not big on cilantro, you guys always know that I tell you, you don't have to use the whole cup. You can use a half a cup, or you don't even have to add it. Just go over and get the sofrito from the store. Now we're gonna mix it. Alright, now we're gonna add the one can of tomato sauce. I'm going to turn it down medium to high heat for about 10 minutes. Um, just to allow the pork, make sure it's like, okay, just to allow the chuleta, the porks, 
the pork chops uh, to release some of those juice. All right, my loves. So you see all the juices that this has um, already started to release. It's releasing um, its natural juices from the pork chops, which is great. All right, so I'm gonna turn this down from medium to high heat on a three. I'm gonna continue to let it cook for another um, probably uh, 20, 25 minutes. But I am going to cut some peppers to throw on top. Um, you could add peppers to this, onions, you can add potatoes, you can add sweet potatoes, you can add corn. I'm gonna be adding some green beans to this and I don't know what else. But this is the kind of dish that you can just go in the gabinetas or in the nevera, in the refrigerator, pick whatever um, veggies you want and add it. If you don't want anything and just make it like this, it's fine. I just want to give you a tip though. This lid does not go to this pot, honey. I want to give you a tip. Um, before you start seasoning the pork chops, start um, a pot of rice. So start boiling the water for your white rice, if that's what you're going to have with it. You don't have to have um, white rice with this, but if you decide you want that, you can. So I started boiling my water for my white rice before seasoning this, the pork chops. By the time I got done seasoning the pork chops, my water was ready for my rice. Did that, threw that in there, the rice is already cooking, this is already cooking at the same time. So this is an easy, easy, quick meal. Guys, make sure you add, make sure to add two bay leaves if you want. I'm gonna add two bay leaves. Uno. Those, I'm gonna add three because these are small because I'm already at the ends of this big container I've been having. And three bay leaves. If you don't want to, you don't have it. You don't have to add it. Another thing that would be good in here would be either a cerveza, a beer, any kind of beer, or some wine, any kind of wine. I don't have either. So, this is what it is. But if I had it, honey, you know I'd throw that beer in here, like, and the wine. Chacho. All right, guys, so it's been exactly 20 minutes. And you see all the water the pork chop has released. I'm just turning everything around. Trying to grab the pork chops from the bottom to the top. Oh my god, it smells so good. Big Papa, you smell my pork chops? <laughs> oh my god, he's so <laughs> he said it smelled finger licking good. All right, so I'm going to um, taste the sauce and see if it needs any um, adjustments, more seasoning, salt, garlic, whatever. And try not to like, it has olive oil, but when you taste it for seasoning, just mix it a little, because if you just dip the spoon like this, you're just gonna grab all the olive oil. Mix it a little, so that way when you go to taste it, um, you're tasting the seasoning, not just the olive oil. You see like that, it looks like sopa. Mm, it tastes good, but it needs a little bit of salt. So I'm add a little bit of salt and a little bit of garlic powder. Okay, the more pink salt. Remember the beginning of the video when I seasoned the pork chops, I didn't want to overdo it because we added the adobo and the garlic and the sazon. So I just wanted to make sure it would, you know, it wouldn't be too salty. A little bit more of the garlic powder and a little bit more of adobo. All right, I want you to turn your stove up at a medium heat at this time. I was going to add um, potatoes, but I just decided to do green beans and um, the red and yellow peppers in here 
I'm not going to add the onions because the kids aren't big on onions. So why add it? I had, I wish I had a beer to put in here. Or the wine. There's no beer here. I haven't seen no beer here. The only time you buy beer is when you're going to actually drink it that day. You don't buy beer like that. Well, you had the Guinness last time? Oh, the goulash? No, I don't think we have any more. The goulash! All right, so I'm just going to cut. No, matter of fact, no, I'm going to add the peppers to it. Hey, what you eating? Mushrooms or peppers? All right, guys, so these are those little peppers you get at your... Oh, excuse me. These are the little peppers you get at your local Walmart, ShopRite, whatever. You know, I always tell you not to buy it there because it's too expensive. Um, we get them from the farmer's market for like $1.99 a bag. So this is what I get. Yeah, the little um, ones like the mixed bag. Yeah. But if you go to ShopRite, you're going to pay like at least $5 for that bag. Yeah. And then I added a pint of mushrooms because I'm big on mushrooms. You guys know that. Big Papa Paul would rather have the um, portobello mushrooms. Those are his favorite. So we're gonna use one bag. It's a 12 ounce bag um, of the cut green beans. And this is frozen. And I added at the end because like I always tell you, I hate like soggy vegetables. So I'm not even gonna stir these in. I'm just gonna lay them on the top like this. And then I'm gonna cover this for 10 minutes and then we should be done. Alexa, set a timer for 10 minutes. All right guys, so the timer went off. <clears throat> this is done 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 oh my god this smells so good All right, let's get this one last taste to make sure that our seasoning is right. We want to make sure the flavor tastes right, even though it smells good, but we want to make sure it tastes good. So let me grab a spoon. And the reason I left the frozen vegetables on the top is because I didn't want them to cook um, too long. Like I said, I don't want them getting soggy, but this is good. I'm turning my stove off at this point and I'm going to give it a taste. Oh my god, it tastes good. Alright guys, so this is the end of this video. This is the plate for Big Papa. So we have the pork chop here. This is our stew pork chop. And then we have our peppers and the mushrooms. Cilantro, you saw that goodness. Oh, and the um, green beans. And then we have salad. I have to put the salad dressing. And the white rice, of course. And then threw some mushrooms in there. But um, yeah, this is it. An easy meal. It's different, right? Because you don't always want to have like fried pork chops, air fried pork chops. So it's nice to mix it up. And the soup pork chops is delicious because they're um, made in the sauce, tomato sauce, right? So they marinate, they're tender. And then you can utilize any kind of vegetables you want. Any kind of vegetables that suit your family, right? That they like. And I wish I had aguacate, but they're not ripe yet. So we are just gonna have salad and the white rice with the veggies and the stew pork chops. So if you like this recipe, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below. And if you haven't already and you enjoy the recipe, make sure to subscribe and uh, I'll see you at the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Le gusta la verde, le gusta entonar